I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby. So, so if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally be Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Why sir, don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm going to do you that. You hit now. me. Okay. Sir, okay now you I'm take my know. picture, dude. Yeah. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. They're criminals. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, my God, don't do that to him. You he guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Where are you doing right here. Ma'am, Oh, man. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. You guys really don't know what you're doing to my life with this, man. Seriously, please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to West Palm Beach, Florida. Not to be confused with Palm Beach, Florida. They're two separate entities which are light years apart. Yeah, the people in West Palm Beach, Florida have money. Where do they get their money? From the government. Yeah. And the people in Palm Beach, oh no, we're talking mega bucks. Yeah, mega bucks. But at any rate, uh, we have a frauditor today who has absolutely no common sense and thinks he's pushed by police officers and then wants to create a big brouhaha about it and file a complaint. Imagine that. Sit back, watch, and <laughs> enjoy. I'm right by my house. We are military. You're a liar. You're a liar. He just told me to move into the parking lot. Do you guys want to get it straight? Where do I need to move? Over this way, friend, please. I really, really, really would appreciate it. Turn my camera around. You're all right, man. You can film. We just need you to back up away from us for a couple of You guys just head off the sidewalk onto the parking lot. Where would you guys like me to move to? I'm asking carefully. What if I don't come over there and walk with you? Are you not allowed to tell me where I have to be over here? So you guys don't like a camera pointed this way? Or what's the problem over here? We want you to move back a little bit. Dude, I was standing back there, and then he said to move over here, so I moved over here for you. I'm coming out there. You can film right there. You can film over here. You can't be right on top of the master doing your best. I'm getting dressed. That little whiny voice that you hear in the background is Acura Amanda. Yeah, she's a frauditor down there in West Palm Beach, Florida, who's been arrested numerous times. She has problems with, oh dearie me, CPS as well. Yeah, I guess she doesn't look after her son like she should. But at any rate, let's continue, shall we? Safer back here now, huh? Well, for them, it's not so much you. I'm getting dressed right now. I'm getting dressed right now. I'm here for them and you, man. I like to record everybody. You guys can record, I can record. You're on private property. You can be on private property, too. Hold on a second. 
You don't have to rush over here. I'm totally chilling. No, fuck that. Let me find my bra. <laughs> oh, we got another camera over here. I like cameras. What's your name and badge number, sir? I find it rather ironic that cop haters always walk up to cops and want to see what they're doing and record them. Ah, but you know what, sonny boy? You should never approach a cop in the middle of the night. Nah, bad things happen in the dark, as we shall soon see. Roll that clip. What was it? What's your name and badge number? Please do not put your hands on me, sir. I'm not allowed to ask him his name and badge number. You are. Now you're walking on me. What is your name and badge number? I did not hear you. Monat 4135. Step back over there. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is a I don't know why I got hands put on me over here, though. You're approaching me. Get back. You I'm no not right allowed to approach, approach on a sidewalk. No right to I'm not allowed to approach a sidewalk. No, you don't. You have no right to What statute me. is that? Is that a misdemeanor no right or a felony? To approach me. Okay. Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Listen. Go take your legal eagle stuff and go somewhere. So you don't else. like the law? What are you? I don't like when people approach me aggressively like you just. So are you a tyrant or are you law enforcement? Why are you asking me ridiculous, stupid questions? I don't answer questions. Why are you asking me questions? Can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah, but no problem. Play 4302. Can I talk to you for a moment? Away from all of this? report. And I have every right to ask him for his ID number. He does not have right to put his hands on me. Who is that officer who put his hands on me? We all know that frauditors are uneducated and unemployed, but they oftentimes have a criminal record. Now, Sonny Boy, do you have a criminal record? Or maybe just an arrest record? Oh, I bet you do. Hey, I bet your mama's so proud of you, too, isn't she? Proud of her little bouncing baby boy. Grew up to be such a nice young man. And <laughs> not. Who was the officer that put his hands on me? That was you. What is your name and badge number, sir? Is it on your shirt? May I please see it on your shirt? Okay, I hear it. Is it on your shirt? Can I get a, can I get a card, please? You're not getting a card. This is my ID. Perfect. May I please take a picture of it? It's upside down. Can you spin it over for me? And you will not Perfect. approach a law enforcement officer. We have officer. Lieutenant Ryan, Mug Ryan Mugridge. My goodness, correct. I am so Thank heated. You. You're welcome. Do not approach a law enforcement officer or else they will put hands on you. That is for sure. Yes, you approach my back and I put my hands on you. Absolutely. I approached your back? I think the video might prove otherwise. I don't know if you guys saw what I saw, but we'll let the viewers decide on that one. Please back up. Back up where the sergeant told you to back up over there. You've already been advised that this is an investigation. We ask you to step back. As long as you follow with what we're asking you, it's not a big deal. You can film Yeah, I was stepped back until we took a picture, so I was allowed to ask him his name and badge number, man. Correct, to ask him his name and badge number because he took my picture. Because him taking my picture on his cell phone, I'm allowed to do a public records request. So him trying to run away from asking my name and badge number, that's a problem in my opinion. Why is it that frauditors always want to request a picture that was taken on a public official's phone? You don't already know how stupid and ugly you look? You just want confirmation from someone else's phone. Is that it, frauditor? Shut your mouth, go home, and look for a real job, frauditor. No, but instead I got hands put on, and I'm not very happy about getting my hands put on. Do I put my hands on you? Have I put my hands on any one of you? Did I forget something? So... Once again, we will tell but you, it's putting the hands on me, which is where I have the problem, man. Don't approach them as they're conducting an investigation. You've been told to step back over here. You chose not to listen to them. Okay? So listen to what we're telling you and you want to do Okay? It's very simple. Very simple. Moments later. But the other guy putting his hands on me and not asking me to back up the moment I'm backing up when they're doing it, that's not cool, man. Using force to push me back? Listen to me. I'm listening to what you're saying, you gotta hear me out as well. You I'm hearing you out, I'm listening. You gotta step back, you gotta step back. Okay. So that means if not, you guys can put force, you can use your hands to push me off from a... Uh, yeah, so was I even on the back. sidewalk or was I on the road? Correct me if I'm wrong, I was heated in the situation. I'm, not, I'm, not I'm pretty sure in my video I was still over there. Because I started back there and then I got moved over here and I got moved over there and I got moved over here and then he took a picture. I asked you to stand over here, right? Sure, and I was standing over there, but then he took a picture of me. So I wanted to approach him to ask for his name and ID number, which I did, and then I got hands put on me. The lad is a real crybaby, and all this because he wants a name and a badge number of an officer that took a picture of him so he can make a public records request for that picture. I just don't get it. I really don't. I don't understand what all this nonsense is about. You know, the police have enough to worry about out there without some yahoo like you interjecting. And that's where I have a problem with all of this interaction. 
I don't know what you guys are dealing with, and I respect your guys' job, I really do. But getting hands put on me, that, that's not cool, man. Does anybody's body cam rolling out here? Does anybody have a body cam at all? So you don't answer questions? Yes, sir. Sheriff's office doesn't have body cams. Okay, so PBSO doesn't have body cams. Are any of these dash cam vehicles running or all of them pointing the wrong direction? What about that dash cam right there? What car number is that? Am I allowed to approach that car to get the car number? All right, we got car number 75223, and we got car number supervisor car. One second, man. One second. We got car number 584157 for some dash cam footage. So what does all of this prove? What does cop watching prove? You're exercising your First Amendment right to film the cops, and now what? What? What are you filming? What are you doing? Some kind of mind-altering thing that we have never seen before here in America, filming the cops, some kind of groundbreaking uh, first-hand news that nobody's privy to. Yeah, stop all this nonsense. Go home. What are we doing about them putting this ha my hands on me? Is there a sergeant available that's a higher up? Because he's saying, is there somebody else available to be able to take care of this as we're here on scene before we have to deal with it later? Did you see on the FaceTime when he took a photo of oh, me? yeah, I'm, I'm heated right now. I am heated. He tried to run away the moment I tried to ask him his name Where's, and badge number. He? he He's got a different shirt on than all the rest of them. He doesn't have a uh, vest on. I saw the whole thing when you FaceTimed me. Where is he? I'm looking. I'm not finding. I'm on a public sidewalk right now. I am challenging each and every one of you. I am in your so-called investigation. Do something about it. And there they go. Cockroaches. Always cockroaches. It's like you pull a can of raid out. Well, there you have it, folks. Now, there is a part two to this. I'm not going to bother to edit it because it's so long. But the lieutenant comes out and he finds that his officers had no wrongdoing by pushing this yahoo. So there is no complaint. Oh, dearie me, the poor lad's going to need a safe space. Not to mention his teddy bear and a warm glass of milk. Well, at any rate, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Mm-hmm. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So you assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh. Yo, you're racist. Kate racist. Oh. That's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me bro. Put your hands on me. Really, no reason I'm really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You, you just assaulted me, ma'am. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salami hala handula, alu akbar. Hark nuik on the kra! Ula wala fufatai!